Yo YouTube, what is going on? Y'all already know you know what it is we're doing today. Today we're gonna be coming back with the uh, with the Dodge Magnum RT 2006. I've been meaning to do a review on this car for the longest, man. Uh, I know y'all so used to me doing like the unboxing video, but the box and everything is upstairs, uh, put away in my closet. But um, this car, man, is honestly it, it's one of my favorites. It, it, it's a car that I've always wanted. Still one to this day, and uh, it's just uh, I don't know what it is, man. Like ever since this car came out, like I've I've always liked it. A lot of people I know are not they're, they're not fans of the car because you know they don't they don't like how it looks. A lot of people say they think it looks like a uh, like a boot. I mean, me myself, I like it. Uh, as you can see, it does, it does have like a little, uh, excuse me, like a little, a little scuff in the paint. Not bad. Um, I was thinking about repainting this, anyways. Since I don't plan on selling this at all, this is a, this is the one car I don't ever plan on getting rid of or selling. You know, just because, you know, if, if I do, it's gonna be me getting a different color. Like either getting uh, the black magnum again or, or getting the red. But I really like this uh, this luxury white as I guess they call it. So um So yeah, it, it's got it's got a custom interior as y'all see. It's got chrome. It's got a custom radio. Uh I I, I wanna say it's a uh like a iPad. That's right there. Uh, it's got chrome handles, it's got suicide doors as you see, um, then on the back it says Dub City, I remember man, it, it, it's so sad to, to, you know, to see these cars like, you know, to see these cars like really go away, you know, cause I remember when, uh, you know, when everybody had these Magnums, you know, they had them on spinners and stuff like that. And, uh, as you see, it, it's got some gigantic, um, straight pipes. So, yeah, man, Dub City really did their thing. It's the RT, and this is the exact, uh, trim of the Magnum that I want. It's the, uh, it's the RT. So, as you see, it's, uh, it's also got a, uh, it's, it's got an insane... It's got an insane sound system in here. Uh, it's got it's got a TV. Uh, looks like a... no. Nah, I don't think that's spread. I think that might be for like uh. I don't know. That might be Nas. Nice. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure what that is. But yeah, it, it's got. Did you see? It's also got like amplifiers and stuff like that too. So this car is uh. I want to say it's probably got us uh, probably pushing like you know two three thousand watts maybe more you know to have like amps that big or to be running like four amps so oh it's got four it's got four subwoofers so yeah this thing is easily probably yeah pushing about like uh three four thousand watts with the uh, with the speaker so me myself, I've never really been like a fan of like the other uh, TVs and stuff like that, but I don't know, man. It, it's I mean I guess it's okay, but like I said, the whole TV thing is not my thing, and you you can't see like that there is like TVs on the back of the seats and stuff like that. So yeah, man, that's uh, it, it's it's cool, man. It's cool. And then I'm also gonna show you uh. It does have the, uh, you know, the Lamborghini doors, which I think are, I think are fantastic, man. I like that. And, uh, yeah, the suicide doors, too. So, me, myself, I think that's, like, the best, 
you know, I think that's like the, the you know, the best door combination is the, uh, is the suicide doors and the, uh, yeah, the suicide doors and the Lamborghini doors. Yeah, see, when I get a Magnum, I might do the, uh, I might just do the, uh, the suicide doors. I'm not gonna say, uh, I'm not a fan of Lambo doors. I like them, I think they look sick, but it's just, you know, the only problem, the big problem that I found out about, like, Lamborghini doors is that, uh, the spring, uh, not the spring, the, uh, the shock wears out, the hydraulic shock that holds up the door wears out, and it has to be replaced, um, you know, after, after so much use, after, after the door no longer wants to hold up, so, yeah, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna come over here to the front view, see, I really like the front view, uh, I really like looking at the, uh, the car from the front view with the doors and stuff like that up, it, lo it looks insanely sick, and matter of fact, I might use a picture like this as a thumbnail, and then, as we come over here, it's the same thing. Um, so, yeah, man. Yeah, man, look at that. That's a, that, that, that's a whip right here for you, man. And to be honest, man, I got to say, I like this. I like this car a lot more than the uh, than the auto arts, and I know a lot of people are gonna be like, "Well, why? You know, it's not a Lambo. It's not a Lambo. It's not a Rolls Royce. No, it's not. But you know what? The customization. I, I love customization. And then, as you see, it's again, you know, it's got the five seven. Uh, it's got the five seven Hemi. So. As y'all see, like these, you know, these Jadas and like Maestros and stuff like that, the uh, the, the the details and stuff like that isn't as good as like the uh, the auto art. So that's why the auto arts and stuff like that cost a lot more. Is because uh, the details are a lot more uh, are a lot more realistic and in depth and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. See, like if this was like a uh, a auto art, like the engine details and stuff like that would have been a lot more uh would have been a lot more realistic which i wish auto R had yet like a uh, you know a magnum version or you know a magnum in general not like a magnum version but yeah man As you see it's got the sunroof and everything like that uh chrome steering wheel yeah man it, it, this car is a uh it's a piece of art they also have the, uh, the, what's that, it's the, uh, it's the Jada, the Jada Showroom 118, but it's, it, you know, it, it's really, really hard to find, and see, it, it also has it where all four doors open, as well as they have the other charger as well, but, um, you know, the best places to find those would be, like, uh, eBay, because, you know, like I said, man, these, not, not very many people have these. These are very hard to, uh, to, to find, like, you know, at a, uh, what would they say, like a, like a brick mortar place. Uh, the, the only place you can find these cars is a, is a, is a flea market or a hobby shop. And honestly, I bought this one, uh, I bought this one here from my Great Lakes, uh, Training Hobbies. Out there in Sterling Heights, Utica area, the same place I got the uh, the Chevy GT three fifty R. So yeah, man, I, I bought some uh, I bought some nice stuff from there, man. <clears throat> you know, I don't do uh, I don't do I don't do a lot of shopping there, but when they have something that I really truly want, yes, I'll get it. I'll get it. I, I I've sold them a couple uh, I've sold them a couple things. In, uh, in the past, I had an ACR Viper that I had sold them, and uh, I think, yeah, I think I had sold that Viper to get this Magnum. I think it was on my birthday, if I'm not mistaken, this year, so. Yeah, man, I've had this car for, for some months now, man. And, yeah, like I say, this is, you know, I want my Magnum to look something like this, but minus those Lambo doors. It doesn't look ugly, but like I said, 
I'm just not willing to deal with the uh, with the whole uh, you know. I'm just not willing to deal with that whole you know hydraulic you know shock issue. Like just just look, man. Just look at that, man. Look at this view with those doors up. That's my favorite thing about that, that, that's like that's my favorite thing about this car. That's why I like this car a lot more than the auto arches is because of the customization that's put into it. You know, you don't see cars like this, you know, in general today. You know, even in the real car community, you don't really see these cars like that no more because you know everybody wants to drive a foreign car or a BMW something. You know, something that that that's hot and popular. You know, these, these are no longer hot, so that's why I want one. You know, not everybody has it, not everybody wants it. So, it's not that everybody wants a Hellcat or or a Scat. You know, they 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 want something with a you know with a lot of horses in it or 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 something that's uh you know like I said that's hot and trendy. You know, me myself, I can do without it. So. Um, so yeah, I mean, honestly, I really don't have too much more to say, really, because, again, man, you know, y'all know what it is, um, you know, like I said, when, when I get my Magnum, you know, just know that, you know, big things are going to be coming for it. And, you know, I don't want it to be this color, you know, like just like just pearl white. It, I don't know, man. We'll 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 see when we get the car. But you know, the first thing I I, I know that I'm gonna do to that car is uh is I'm definitely gonna change out like the other uh, front grill, and then I'm gonna get um then I'm gonna get some halos. You know the uh, the stock lights. You know the the, the stock lights. They, they they look cool. You know, don't get me wrong. But you know what, man? I really love the aftermarket. You know, the aftermarket lights that you know that Dodge has that Dodge offers. So, or I don't know if it's Dodge, but you know who, whatever company makes them. So, and then the other thing I wanted to add to what I didn't add about the Lambo door. So the thing I don't like about the Lambo doors is I don't like how they, you know, open out, open out first and then, you know, raise up. I, you know, I like it better for the door to just raise straight up, but honestly, I don't know why it was designed to just, uh, I don't know why it was designed to just swing out and then, you know, close back. I don't like that, but hey, man, you know, that, that, that's why people, that's why so many people feel the way that they feel and say like, eh, not really a fan. Yeah, man, because that, that, that whole swing out and then raise up, that's just, uh, you know, it, it, it's just too much going on. So that's why I said me, I think I would just stick with the, uh, you know, with the, with the suicide doors, you know, because it's more convenient getting in and out. And then another thing, man, with these Lambo doors, you don't have a lot of room a ton of room getting in and out so which means if you plan on taking some dates out or some women out you won't be taking very many because you know I guarantee you just that one date it's just that that, that one date is gonna be the last one so hey man uh, but yeah man I think that's uh, you know that, that that's pretty much it so Tomorrow, I'm not sure, just, you know, just depending to, depending on how much, you know, how much money I can come across tomorrow. Uh, Jada has a, has a Chrysler 300, the same exact color. So, I had an all black 300 C around the same time I used to have the other uh, all black Magnum. And uh, the, I think, and you know what, I'm going to probably end up getting a black Magnum again. But see, that'll just be so I can, uh, I mean, if I do, what I'll probably end up doing is, uh, is switching out this interior in here and putting out and putting in the, uh, the beige, the beige interior that the, uh, that the black magnum had. That's why, that's why I like that black one, but 
you know, I, I ended up selling that, that, that black magnum just because, I don't know, man. Black on a magnum, to me, it, it, it seems too basic. You know, when you're trying to do a, uh, you know, when you're trying to do a decked out car like this, black just seems too basic. Like, you gotta go, you gotta go with something like a, something like just like a pearl metallic white or something like that, like a pearl off metallic white or, or, or candy paint, something, something that really pops out that's gonna make people be like, damn, man, that, that, that joint clean, you feel me? Black just, I don't know, man, it, it just really seemed too basic. Like, that black just was not doing it for me. And, it, and, and it's, the, uh, it's the same exact thing with the uh, with the All Black 300. Like, you know, I had got the, yeah, the All Black Magnum in 300 because, you know, I wanted them to match. Same thing. That's why, you know, I, I recently sold the, uh, the Black 300 that also has suicide doors. But the, but the, uh, the front doors are just regular no lambo doors it's, it, it's just regular so yeah man that's why i sold that one because you know that 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 all black it just wasn't doing it for me man it, it was just it, it was too basic so um if i can still get my hands on that white 300 you know either you know tomorrow or sometime next week or the week after i'm gonna get my hands on it but yeah man that's uh that that that's all i have to say um I really hope y'all really enjoyed this, uh, you know, this review video. Um, let me know in the comments also, like, if y'all have any, any recommendations of any other car reviews you want to see. Like, if you really enjoy, uh, if you really enjoy, you know, me doing, like, custom, you know, car reviews, you know, Jada cars, I'll say. If you like those, hey man, feel free to comment below. You know, if you want to see more and more Jada cars too, feel free to comment below. If you know, if y'all enjoy seeing the auto arts, hey man, because that that's you know that's mainly what I've been starting out doing. That's mainly what I've been doing when I've been doing like uh you know the other car reviews or the diecast car reviews is the auto art so yeah man whatever makes y'all happy man just you know leave me some feedback and uh yeah man i think that this you know that's gonna sum it up and uh i will catch y'all in the next video peace